welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at compound probability. So just like a compound sentence, when you have two sentences and you put them together, compound probability means that we're finding the probability of two events happening. So for today we have three different examples that we're going to go over. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so our first problem says a bag contains four red marbles, three blue marbles, and six green marbles. If two marbles are drawn out of the bag, what is the probability to the nearest thousandth that both marbles drawn are red. So whenever we're finding probability, we always need to know what our total number of outcomes are. So for this one, I have four red marbles, three blue marbles, and six green marbles. That means I have a total of 13 marbles. So we have 13 total here. And we're trying to find the probability of drawing two red marbles in a row. So this one, it doesn't say that we're replacing it all. So we're imagining I'm drawing one marble, I know there are 13 possible outcomes right now. There are four that are red. So that means the probability of drawing a red to start is four out of 13. Now I'm gonna draw another marble. Well, if I already drew one marble out, there are no longer 13 marbles. There are only 12 marbles left. And one of the marbles that I drew was already red. So that means that there are only three of them left. So right here, this means that I'm gonna have four out of 13 for the first draw, three out of 12 for the second draw, and I want to know the probability that that happens twice. So that means I draw one red and another red. And when we say that word and, that means that we're going to be multiplying. So we're going to have to multiply these together. And our final answer says to the nearest one thousandth. That means that we need to get our answer to the nearest thousandth before we can enter it. So I'm going to head on over to my calculator. So we're going to have four thirteenths. That's going to be multiplied by three twelfths and for this one we needed to round it to the nearest thousandth so that means I have tens hundreds thousandths I need to leave three decimal places so I'm gonna have point zero seven and then that six is going to change to a seven because the number after it is a five or higher it's a nine so we're gonna have point zero seven seven point zero seven seven as our final probability for this one all right, let's take a look at number two. This one says a bag contains four red marbles, seven blue marbles, and eight green marbles. If two of them are drawn out of the bag, what is the probability to the nearest tenth of a percent that both marbles drawn will be green? So here we're gonna do the same idea. First, I need to find how many total possibilities I have. So I know that eight plus seven is 15, plus four more makes 19. So I have a total of 19 possible outcomes. I wanna know the probability that both of them are green. Well, here I have eight of them are green. So my first probability for the first marble is eight out of 19. When I go to draw the second one, if I've already drawn one marble, there's only 18 left. And one of them that I already drew was green, so now there's only seven of them left. I wanna know the probability that this is happening for both of them, so we're going to multiply those together. So again, let's head on over to that calculator. All right, so we have eight, 19th and then we're going to multiply that by 7 18th so here we get 0.1637 and if we look back at that problem it says we need it to the nearest tenth of a percent so to start off let's copy that over so 0 0.1637 so point one six three seven right now it's at a decimal to change it to a percent i need to move it twice and so for this one we would have 16 and then it's the nearest tenth of a percent so that's one decimal place that's going to give me 16.4 percent as my final answer all right on to example three this one's a little bit different so this one says a bag contains six red marbles, five blue marbles, and four green marbles. If three marbles this time are drawn out of the bag, what's the exact probability that all three marbles drawn will be blue? Okay, so we're gonna use the same concept here, but now we have to do it three times. So to start, we're gonna figure out how many total possibilities. Well, that's six plus five plus four. So that's 15 total possibilities. And we're looking for blue marbles here. So I have five that are blue. So the, my first draw, I have a probability of five out of 15. For the second draw, there are only 14 left and there's one less blue because I just drew a blue. So four out of 14. And then I have to do it again, a third draw. And that's gonna leave me with the probability of three out of 13 because I've been drawing blue marbles the whole time. 
Okay, so for this one, we'll head back over to that calculator. We're going to have 5 fifteenths times 4 fourteenths times 3 thirteenths. All right, so on this one, once I type it all in, I get this nice long answer. But the problem is with this one, our original question said we need to know the exact probability. And although this is pretty detailed, it's not exact because my calculator is still rounding. So if you're using Desmos, this is a really handy feature. Um, you'll see right next to my answer, there's something that looks a little bit like an empty fraction in a circle. If I just click that, it actually converts that equation to the actual fraction that the decimal was equal to. So this one, it's going to be equal to 2 over 91. So this is going to be equal to 2 over 91, and that's going to be my exact probability.